Life Audio. Thank you for listening to your daily prayer, a podcast dedicated to helping you find the words you need to connect with your Father in Heaven. No matter what is going on in your life today, you can trust that God wants to hear from you. Right after this short word from our sponsor, we will pray through today's prayer together. Hi, I'm Bonnie Curry, one of the narrators on the Abide app, a premium ad-free biblical meditation experience. Join the millions of people who download the Abide app to reduce stress, improve sleep, and experience the peace of God every day. You can text the word PEACE to 22433 for a seven-day free trial of Abide. Just text PEACE to 22433, and you'll likely hear from me again on the app as I guide you through daily meditations or help you fall asleep and experience the peace of God. There's an uneasiness growing within today's parents. Questions arise around what our kids are being taught, exposed to, and influenced by. Thankfully, a fully engaged, well-informed parent is a powerful thing. And that's why I support Answers in Genesis, and I would recommend you do as well. Because it's important to remember that the battle for our kids' minds isn't one in the courts or the classrooms. It's one from the safety and comfort of our own home. So be the difference our kids need and visit www.answers.gift today. A Prayer for Singles by Emma Dancy 1 Corinthians 7 verse 8 says, Now to the unmarried and the widows I say, it is good for them to stay unmarried as I do. Singleness can often get a negative reputation among the Christian community. This is never something that is told to us by God. However, people love to create cliques and form ideals that unfortunately can leave others wondering where they fit in. In 1 Corinthians, Paul reminds us that it is actually good to stay unmarried. 1 Corinthians 7 verses 32 through 35 expands on this. I would like you to be free from concern. An unmarried man is concerned about the Lord's affairs how he can please the Lord. But a married man is concerned about the affairs of this world, how he can please his wife. And his interests are divided. An unmarried woman or virgin is concerned about the Lord's affairs. Her aim is to be devoted to the Lord in both body and spirit. But a married woman is concerned about the affairs of this world, how she can please her husband. I am saying this for your own good not to restrict you, but that you may live in a right way in undivided devotion to the Lord. These verses are to be an encouragement that if you are single, God is not frowning on you today. He is applauding you and motivating you to keep this beautiful undivided attention on Him. You can be fully devoted to the Lord in a way that a married person cannot. Today, as we pray over singles, may we remember that they have a beautiful purpose in God's kingdom. Let's pray. Father, we praise you for singles. We thank you for those who have full devotion and focus on you and your gospel. We ask that you would give them strength today to see you in the midst of their situations. Would you please help them to find great delight and joy in you? Prevent them from comparison. Protect them from the lies of the enemy that would cause them to feel discouraged in this calling that you have for them. Reveal to them the beautiful blessings each day as they serve you where they are. Jesus, bless singles with community among the church and Christian circles. Help them to feel greatly desired and wanted. Show them that they have a valuable place among your kingdom. Help them to not be ashamed, but to know that they are honored today. We pray for those who are called to singleness, whether for a season or for life, who do not want to be. Would you remind them of the great purposes you have for them in this? Would you gently catch their tears in your bottle today? 
Would you speak the truth of your word and help them combat the attacks from the enemy? Jesus, show them that you have reasons beyond what they temporarily see for your sovereign plan and for people to know you as Savior and Lord. Use them to spread the gospel in unique ways. Help them to know how to use their time wisely. We pray for those who are called to singleness for life. Would you give them the vision and the goals to be excited about this leading? Would you provide family structures and ways for them to invest in the next generation? Give them meaning, give them purpose, and give them hope. Guide them by your Holy Spirit. Speak life into them daily. Help them never to isolate and become an island. Remind them of their design to be in community, whatever that might look like for them. We pray that all singles would know how wide, long, high, and deep is your love. Give them a miraculous taste of your presence and closeness, even when they might feel lonely. Remind them of how abundant of a life they have because you are their Savior and you have redeemed them. Give them a fresh fire to spread this beautiful message of the gospel with the world and to embrace your calling in their lives. May singles and all people remember to keep you first in their hearts and lives today and always. Amen. Your Daily Prayer is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. Hi, I'm James Seawood, one of the narrators on the Abide app, a premium ad-free biblical meditation experience. Join the millions of people who download the Abide app to reduce stress, improve sleep, and experience the peace of God every day. You can text the word PEACE to 22433 for a seven-day free trial of Abide. Just text PEACE to 22433, and you'll likely hear from me again on the app as I guide you through daily meditations or help you fall asleep and experience the peace of God. There's an uneasiness growing within today's parents. Questions arise around what our kids are being taught, exposed to, and influenced by. Thankfully, a fully engaged, well-informed parent is a powerful thing. And that's why I support Answers in Genesis, and I would recommend you do as well. Because it's important to remember that the battle for our kids' minds isn't one in the courts or the classrooms. It's one from the safety and comfort of our own home. So be the difference our kids need and visit www.answers.gift today.